So let's start with uh, looking at the new data approval application that came out in, in 237. So the, um, um, in, the, in the data model, we actually have had support for what we call parallel or multiple data approval workflows for quite some time. It's been there for at least two years, but we haven't had the chance to support this in our own applications yet. It's been used by third-party applications, but, but not our own core application. So with the new approval application, we now have the opportunity for creating parallel and, and multiple data approval workflows, meaning that you can have multiple approval streams going on at the same time in the same DCS2 installation. So a data approval workflow <clears throat> basically has a period type, which defines the frequency of approval. And that frequency can actually be lower than the data sets, which are part of the, of the workflow. So, so if you have, say, monthly um, data sets, you can now set the workflow to be quarterly and then approve for three months at a time to make the process more efficient if that's what you want. Um, a data approval workflow also has multiple levels. <clears throat> and levels largely follow the org unit levels. So that means we can now avoid having to approve at all levels in the hierarchy, instead approve at selected levels. Um, and the, the levels can also be, of course, different from every data approval workflow so that you can have different levels per workflow and do that in, in parallel. As I mentioned, a data approval workflow can also contain many data sets, not just one. So that means we can also approve for many data sets at the same time. So, so if you have many data sets which are related, um, which you know are about the same programmatic area or the same data stream as some like to call it, then we can then approve multiple data sets in the same in one go, basically, which can make the, the process much more efficient. Um, we also have made improvements when it comes to viewing the status of approval within the hierarchy so that you don't have to kind of click through everything to see it. You can just see it from the org tree as you're gonna see in a moment. So with that, I'm just going to show you a little bit how it works. So first, let's go to the, the uh, maintenance application. And as you can see here, we have a section for the data approval workflows. And here we have in my uh, so the Serial Loan database, we have two workflows. This child health and mortality. We click on this one. Um, we can see that we have selected specific levels for the workflow. And we can also see that uh, if you go to data set, we can also associate this with with many data sets. And then you have the period type, which defines the frequency for, for approval, basically. So this has been for, for a long time. We also have the levels where you can define levels uh, for specific or new levels in the, in the hierarchy. Okay, so with that, let's go to the new approval app. There's uh, the other one is called Classic. Um, and the new one is just called Data Approval, just to distinguish between them. So. So let's go to data approval. So the first step is that we select a workflow. Um, we can select between, in this case, child health and mortality in the five years. <clears throat> so let's pick the mortality one. Um, then we can pick a month. This is the monthly frequency. So we can select the month. Um, and then we can select an organet. And as you can see here from the hierarchy, we can now, at a glance, see the status of approval for every uh, level and organet. So we can see that the blue icon here indicates ready for approval, um, and the hourglass icon um, indicates waiting for approval to happen, basically. So there's no need anymore to go in and actually click to see it. You can see it from the hierarchy. So we can select one of the districts, which are part of this workflow. The next step, step would be to <clears throat> select one of the data sets. So remember, we have two data sets for this one. We can pick one um, that will show us the data for this particular data set. So we can switch between these and, and look at the data. Um, and down here, we now have the, the button which we can use to approve and you click approve. This will give us a confirmation dialog that says um, exactly which data sets we're approving. And then we can say approve and that's it. So it's, it's much easier, much more smooth now to use than the previous one we had, which, which was a lot more sort of labor intensive to, to operate. 